But if you can speed up your site to that extent by reducing the file size of your images, you're going to see a big increase in page speed. We interrupt this program to bring you this important message. Welcome to Marketing Interruption, a daily podcast powered by Blue Tusker that interrupts your day with marketing news, tips and strategies from an entrepreneur who lives and breathes marketing. Now, let the interruption begin with your host, Andrew Maff. Hello and welcome to episode number 52 of Marketing Interruption Podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Maffetto, and today I'm going to talk to you about Google's new file format, WebP. Now, here's the thing. When you heal, when you when you hear file format, you must think, "Wow, this episode's gonna be great and it's super fun." Hear me out; it's not as boring as it sounds. So, I subscribe to a software called Exploding Topics. It's really cool. So, it basically shows you trends of of basically keywords that are just getting used anywhere. So it could be on Twitter, it could be on, on Google, it could be just anywhere in general. And they basically scrape the entire internet to see like, what are people talking about? And a few weeks ago, WebP came up and I was like, what? I don't know what that is. So I looked it up and now I'm part of that trend. So essentially WebP is a new image file format that Google has released. And the statistics behind it are, are crazy. So it is 26% smaller than PNGs and it is anywhere from 25 to 34% smaller than a JPEG. So essentially, it's a new image format that is much, much smaller, but the resolution is the exact same. So think of, uh, of Silicon Valley, where they kind of like did that whole data compression thing. I don't know what the hell any of that means, but it sounds cool, and it means that stuff is faster. And what is Google like? Faster stuff. So it may be ta- uh, tied to the fact that Google just released that new algorithm update over the summer that involved page speed and and the way that people use a website. Um, But here's the thing. I highly suggest that you, uh, there's a ton of different convert converters on, on Google now that you can use where you can upload an image and change it to a WebP. I don't think there's a Shopify app yet. I'm not going to be the one to create it, but if someone out there can create it, that will just bulk change all of your imagery. But if you can speed up your site to that extent by reducing the file size of your images, you're going to see a big increase in page speed. So we've started to do this with bigger images that we're uploading on websites, and we're currently doing it for new images that go onto a website. Uh, We haven't gotten into going back and starting to do past images. Um, But I highly suggest going forward, change all of your imagery from a JPEG or from a PNG. If you're going to upload it onto a website, make it a WebP. It will upload and it will load significantly faster and you'll start to see that page speed dropping real fast. So that's all I wanted to touch on. And uh, that's, yeah, no, that's it. That's all I got. So tomorrow, rate, review, subscribe. See you then. Thank you for joining us for today's marketing interruption. Make sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show. And don't forget to email marketinginterruption at bluetusker.com with any marketing questions you'd like to have answered on the show. And head over to marketinginterruption.bluetusker.com to catch up on past episodes. Until next time, we now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.